Hello, I'm Mark Stevens, the new McTaggart Chair of Land, Property and Urban Studies at Glasgow University. I'm leading the theme on housing systems, their institutions and their significance. Housing systems are periodically exposed to unexpected shocks. Usually, these are economic in origin, such as the global financial crisis, but the coronavirus crisis shows that they need not be. Crises test the resilience of the housing system. After the global financial crisis, banks were bailed out, even nationalised. Mortgage credit dried up. People needed help to pay their mortgages. House building would have collapsed without government help. And a decade later, most big house builders still benefit from the government's help to buy scheme. Our first question is to ask how key housing market institutions responded to the global financial crisis, not just in terms of their ability to bounce back, but how they adapted. Going into the coronavirus crisis, much has been expected of banks and private landlords. Both are being expected to exercise forbearance to absorb mortgage repayments and rents that households are unable to pay as a result of the crisis. There remains much uncertainty about how long forbearance will be required, but an equally important question is, what is the capacity of banks and landlords to absorb forbearance? And given the importance attached to the house building, how are house builders able to cope with the rupturing of the housing market? One of our aims, therefore, is to monitor how well three key institutions have been able to cope with coronavirus. These are the mortgage industry, the house building industry, and the much expanded private rented sector. The private rented sector is made up of thousands of small scale landlords, often referred to as being amateur, but which now has almost one in five households. This year, we'll be following their experiences in the media, seeing what published statistics tell us about what's been going on, conducting interviews with key informants in the industries and trade bodies, and looking for case studies but we're interested in looking beyond the relatively short term. So we'll be asking how have institutions adapted and learned from the crisis? And more broadly, how has government responded in terms of its relationship with these institutions? Government sets the rules by which market institutions operate, tax, subsidy, regulatory requirements and expectations. How have these rules been changed and have they assisted resilience building? This project aims to be forward-looking. Not only will we ask how well did institutions respond, but also how well did they adapt? And will they be better prepared for the next crisis, wherever and whenever it comes?